hello and welcome to TechWeb YouTube channel so today in this video we are going to fix the application was unable to start correctly the error code 0xc000005 so you may have encountered this application error and it's also known as access violation error this is the common problem experienced by Windows users the error usually appears when you try to run a program or application it prevents users from starting various applications and programs and states that the application was unable to start correctly so at this point all you can do is close the pop-up error window by clicking ok uh, there are various causes of this problem such as third-party antivirus program triggering the application error additionally it's possible that the windows system registry is corrupted thus making the system and associated programs behave abnormally there might be the problem with the installed drivers there could be corrupted incorrect or faulty drivers as well some programs might have been updated or installed incorrectly this could be the issue or the operating system infected by malware or a virus this could be the issue as well clearly there is no single reason for this application error and there are number of different ways to fix it in this guide I'm going to help you and we'll fix we'll try to fix it so the first one what we can uh, do is we will run system file checker what you can do is just go there and type CMD okay then you need to run it as an administrator here we go then you need to enter yes and now what you need to do is you need to enter SFC space SC and then slash S C A N N O W so scan now so what it will do it will check all the registry files it will check the missing or corrupted files and it will repair them so if there was the issue on those so it will get fixed and your application will be uh, running good so you need to wait approximately five five to ten minutes on this once it will be completed then you can use your application as well the second one uh, it's called as turn off DEP okay so how you can do it is you need again you need to go on to the search bar and type run and then you need to click OK and now here then type s y s d m dot c p l okay click yes and now go to the advanced and then go to the settings and now go to the data execution prevention and then select the second option if the first option is selected select the second option and then if you want to for example your one application was not working you need to add that click add and after that go to that application and then click ok and here we go and then you can press apply and then ok so you are good to go and in this way you can also fix that problem so the third one is scan the computer scan your whole PC with the antivirus software and if you're using any free version of software free version of antivirus you need to disable that and if you are using defender you need to open the defender D E F E N D E R defender Windows security and click OK so this is the main interface of Windows defender application and you need to click on virus and threat protection and you need to click on many settings and first of all what you can do is you need to scan your computer and you need to click on scan options and you can just click on full scan and have to wait approximately 5 to 10 minutes once it will complete so then you can check whether it's working or not if still it hasn't working then what you can do is you can disable this antivirus for the time being as well go to the home virus and threat protection click on many settings and then you need to rename it and then click yes so turn it off but make sure you are turning it on back after checking whether the software is working or not so this is the third one which you can do and the one more we can uh, the one more option you can use is uh, you can download the free version of C cleaner CC cleaner once you will install the software there will be the option of fix registry you need to click there and you need to fix the registry as well 
so this is the fourth stuff which you can use times it could happen because your ram is faulty so you need to check the ram as well and temporary disable your antivirus as i told you earlier and the last one and the best option is if you have any restore point in your windows what you can do is you can restore your computer and you can get back your computer to the last stage when your application was doing good so what you can do is you can just click on search box and type rstrui.exe and click there and then open so it will take approximately uh, 30 to 40 seconds to open depend upon your performance of your computer so now it's just opening so now what you can do is you can choose the dates for example uh, i can put custom and then uh, so here we go we have the two dates here so for example if my computer was doing good on 11th of uh, 15 of 11 i can just click ok and then click next so my computer will uh, will be back on that day and if any issues uh, uh, if any issues will happen on with my computer after that my computer will forget all those changes and you will get your applications back and your application will run smoothly so that was for today and hope you will enjoy the video kindly subscribe our channel and so that was it thanks for watching